everyone. Welcome to the National Anthem Breakdown. Today, we're going to talk about the history of Algeria's national anthem. No doubt, the history of Algeria can be heard and felt within her anthem. And yes, the country was dragged into an unpredictably painful period of history. However, after a long recovery, Algeria had the power and the will to achieve independence. And there is much to be learned from this country's struggle for freedom. I'm Alexander from Sounding Smart, and this is Kasaman, the national anthem of Algeria. Algeria has quite a vast amount of history to build up, but we are to talk about her national anthem. But for this video, we're going to begin with the Ottomans. Yep, we're starting that far. See, Algeria spent more than 300 years under Ottoman rule until the French occupation in 1830 took place. For Algerians, things would eventually go from bad to worse. France added Algeria to its list of colonized countries, and for Algeria, days full of fear and pain just seemed to never end. A great number of Europeans referred to as Pied Noirs were sent to Algeria. French soldiers usurped land from Algerian farmers and was mostly given to European colonists for free. They imposed more and higher taxes on Muslims than on Europeans. And French officials refused to allocate little money to maintain schools and mosques properly and to provide for enough teachers and religious leaders. The list goes on and on. And the seed of national independence for Algerians against the French started to grow. Fast forward to World War II. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible, people work with me here. Both Muslim and European Algerians took part in World War II, fighting for France. Algerian Muslims served as tirailleurs and spahis. Despite their support for the Allied forces during the war, Algerian Muslims still did not have an equal vote compared to other Algerians, even after an assembly was established. Tensions broke, and a massacre occurred on Setiv on May 8, 1945. French officials opposed Algerians who were demonstrating for their national claim to the French army. After skirmishes with police, Algerians killed about 100 French in which the army retaliated harshly, resulting in the deaths of approximately six thousand Algerians. This triggered a radicalization of Algerian nationalists and could be considered the beginning of the Algerian War. An overwhelming majority of French politicians were heavily opposed to the idea of independence, all the while the idea of independence was gaining ground in Muslim Algerians' minds. It was at this time where you could find the creator of the anthem's lyrics, a man by the name of Mofti Sakaria, in a prison cell in the Barbarous prison. Mofti Zakaria was a Mozabite Berber poet who also had strong nationalistic support for independence. He would affiliate himself with the Algerian People's Party, and he would be in and out of being jailed and tortured from time to time for decades. In 1955, Zakaria would be sent to Barbarous prison, and instead of bending to French sentiment, he broke out into revolutionary fervor. In prison, he was often denied a pen and paper for his writing, and he was left with only one option. It is said in his own blood, he began writing on the walls of his cell a poem that promoted nationalistic ideals and principles, the violent struggle against Algerians for independence, foreshadowing a day of reckoning to befall Algeria's colonial ruler, and espousing armed uprisings and how it was the sole route to attaining independence. What a guy. I'm sorry, but honestly, that just has to be one of the most badass things I've ever researched in my life. And we haven't even gotten to the music yet. The poem would be called Kasaman, or We Pledge, and it would be famous for becoming the lyrics of Algeria's national anthem. A year later, Mohamed Fawzi, an Egyptian actor, composer, and singer, would pen the score for the potential anthem. On June 1, 1958, Charles de Gaulle, who had served as the leader of France after World War II, was appointed prime minister by the National Assembly and was given emergency powers to write a new national constitution for France, founding the Fifth Republic. He would eventually win the presidency, and de Gaulle was faced with the urgent task of finding a way to end the bloody and divisive war in Algeria. De Gaulle arranged a ceasefire in Algeria with the March 1962 Evian Accords. The National Liberation Front came to power and declared independence. The long and bloody crisis was over, and Algeria finally achieved independence on July 3rd, 1962. As they say, freedom is never free. And in Algeria, it was at the cost of blood, the armed and political struggle. And in the end, we're talking about 1.5 million 
war martyrs between the years of 1954 and 1962. There was now a need for a national anthem for the newly born independent country. It was clear and obvious the lyrics would come from Zakaria's poem, Kasaman. Fauzi's score submission was one of three which would be chosen to apply to a Zakaria's poem, and in 1963, the following year after Algeria got its independence, it would officially be adopted as the national anthem and would remain so ever since. Even though Kasaman was adopted in 1963, Technically, it was only intended to be a provisional national anthem. That would actually change on November 2008, when an amendment in the Constitution of Algeria was made declaring it as immutable, giving its association with the country's revolution. It also confirmed the national anthem comprises all of the song's verses, thus ending the deliberation over whether it was still appropriate to include the unfavorable reference to France in the present day. It can be located in Algeria's 2016 revised edition of its constitution, located in Title I, Chapter 1, Article 6, Section 2. There aren't any laws regulating the protocol on what to do when this anthem is being performed. Thus, the standard etiquette applies. Standing unless you are physically disabled to do so, you have the option to put your hand over your heart, face the flag or the performer of the anthem. You could also sing along with the anthem or not, especially if you don't know the words. Military personnel or veterans have the option to salute and men can choose to remove their hats during the playing of the anthem. But ladies generally don't have to. This has been a centuries old tradition which has a large amount of leniency in today's times. When you look at sheet music for Kasman, you'll notice it is in an A2, B2, C2, D format with four melodic motifs, not including the intro. Speaking of the intro, it is unique, but not uncommon. It even has a history of its own. It wasn't thought by Fauzi in 1956, but added later in 1959 by another Algerian composer and conductor, Harun Rashid. Today, we cannot imagine this hymn without this introduction. Usually, an anthem begins with a one, two, or four measure intro before the start of the anthem's first melodic motif. Kasaman, on the other hand, has an eight measure intro, which goes from measures five to 12 and repeats again, ending with a pickup into the first melodic motif and the beginning of the H section. It measures 13 and 18 and repeats again in measures 19 to 25. The entire A section is then repeated, allowing us to enter into the B section with second melodic motif in measures 26 to 29, as well as measures 30 to 30. We now enter the C section with the third melodic motif being played in measures 34 to 37 and repeating again in measures 38 to 41. We now have the D section where we conclude the anthem with the fourth melodic motif being played in measures 42 to 46. I've asked many Algerians in many places on their thoughts about the anthem and it seems pretty much they really adore it. Don't be surprised if you see an Algerian glow with pride when this anthem is being performed. My thoughts on the anthem, I have to say, I was actually surprised. The music seems to strongly resemble that of a European march with no indication of any Arabic influence. I thought I must have been listening to it the wrong way. So I asked some people who have experience with Arabic music, but they even said they couldn't really find any tradition of music from the region in the anthem itself. This is a stark contrast to the lyrics Zakaria wrote, which advocated against the country's former European colonizer. Fauzi played the oud when he was a child, having to have been surrounded himself in learning makams. I hoped that experience would have been implemented in the anthem at the very least played in an Aeolian scale, which is technically just a minor scale. But in Arab music, semitones are pretty dominant, and I would have loved to hear them in the pedal tones of the piece. I asked for more insight on this score. That is why I asked Algerian composer Dr. Salim Dara to clear some of my confusion. When I asked him about the lack of Arabic influence in the score, he reminded me that not all anthems contain the cultural identity of a country musically, and although there is so much diversity in Islamic music in many countries, some of their anthems don't really reflect that. I asked him about his thoughts on the score of Kasaman. 
He states that the melody is very simple and includes all the elements for a memorable anthem and hymn, with joint intervals most of the time except for those rare third and sixth jumps in the first and third melody. And he finds it fascinating by how the second melody is ascending and actually coincides well with the text which speaks by the shining standards fluttering in the wind on the lofty peaks of our proud mountains. And finally, the fourth melody which descends towards the tonic of the major scale as a return to the basics, concluding with the firm statement by saying, testify, testify, testify. As they say, there's a reason for everything. And there's a good reason why Algerians claim this anthem is here to stay. This is their past, this is their present, this is their progressive future, their song to march into the international spotlight and say, this is our anthem, this is our Algeria, and it is our turn to shine. Here is Kasaman, the national anthem of Algeria. Oh, my God. 